to here and then we'll go down. These are, you earn your money on an elk. Uh, I think, anyway. Certain animals you earn your money on. Elk, moose, buffalo you don't earn your money on. I mean, you, if you've never done a buffalo, if anybody comes in your shop and says, man, I'd sure like to get into taxidermy, just throw them a buffalo hide and say, go ahead and get that baby ready to go. Get her thinned down. Because I don't send anything out for tanning. you got to thin it out on yourself here and tan it yourself. So, let's see if he still likes it after that or a wild boar hide. Then, by God, he might have some potential. But, some of it, it isn't all gravy. I don't think a lot of people realize how hard the taxidermist actually works. I mean, how much, uh, you know, like when I get done tonight... With this elk, I'll have to ice my hand down. i got a little bit of arthritis in this hand here. And uh, it just hurts like heck, especially on a job like this. It just is hard to, hard to unbend them sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, we're getting across here. I'm going to have one more stitch here on the corner. You can see right here. I'm on the corner right here. I'm going to put that stitch right in there. And then I got this stitched up. I'm going to come over and hit this corner right here where that meets up. There we go. I'm going to pull that tight. Okay. Now I'm going to go over and hit, the, I'm going to go ahead and hit this corner here where he broke her loose. Like I say, on an elk hide, you can go ahead and if you don't have big sharp needles, you can use a leather punch, punch your holes about every half an inch or three quarters of an inch, and you're ready to go. Okay, now what you want to do, you've got your ears hanging here. We're going to go ahead and stitch this down a little bit, and then when we get her down there, I'll we'll say right about here where this tightens up, I'm going to lay that elk down. And then we're going to keep working on him. Uh, I'll show you as we go along, but I'm going to get these ears. We'll put the clay in there. Get that all set up, ready to go. I'll do a little bit more stitching here. And show you just what we're going to do here. And that will tighten that up a little bit around here too. Sometimes you have too much loose skin. And another thing you can do is if you don't tan, the, I wouldn't dry preserve something like this, but if you're just starting out, you could dry preserve a deer hide, use dry preservative, see how that works. I've had good luck with dry preservative when I first started out. I still got mounts of mine 25 years that I've used dry preservative on. Look beautiful, look the same as they did when I mounted them. I mean, they get. There are a lot of things you got to do. Sometimes they get weather checked, or if you don't, if you put them in storage or something, that's not good on a hide. Anyway, we're coming down here now. We got, we're getting this all ready to go. But anyway, we got that hide down to here. I don't know if you can see that, but we got this hide down to here. I'm gonna move this down just a little bit. We'll get the hide down to here. I can go ahead and put my clay in there. Let me get it. What that does is tighten up the neck enough so the clay doesn't fall out. And that's always nice to have going for you. And what I do is I do my sewing first and I go back and do my face. The face work. I got my baseball size grip clay here. I'll stick it up underneath there. Force it up there if you have to. Well, you'll have to. Just get her up in there. And that way you got your ear base. And your clay is in there, ready to go. Okay? That's not going to come out. As long as you got a little bit of stitching here to hold that in there where it's just slightly tight. There you go. 
Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a couple wet paper towels. I want to get some of this glue off of here before it gets out of hand on me. Anyway. Wash this elk out here. Looks like a mud wallow in my sink. One thing about your shop, makes it nice if you got hot water in there. Just makes everything a lot nicer. But anyway. Now we got that. Got a little bit of glue here. A little bit there. We'll be able to get that. Uh, okay, we got the we got the ears ready to go. We got the the clay in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera. It's pretty straightforward. Just taking this down here, sewing it up. When you start getting down here, or right now, you just go ahead, go around the front here. Start putting your glue in there. Okay. Get your glue in your joints, just pull your height around. You'll be amazed at how, how easy this thing goes. You'll start pulling this height up here like so. And it'll just start pulling right, right around here. And uh, we'll end up having us uh, an elk ready to go here pretty quick. I hear you. Okay. Anyway, I'll get back with you later after we get that up, and then I'll, we'll get the face. I'll show you how we do the face.